What is going on guys? It is this Han Programmer here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And in this Minecraft video, we're gonna take a look at how to make your own server menu like this. If you click mine and you tag the item, you will get teleported to the mine which is right here and if I tap that button, I can go back and go to the shop. Which is very very cool, it's like what you've seen in most servers, so I can just shift and click and it will take me there. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial, all you need to do is watch this video till the end and I'll show you how right now. So in order to make this thing, I have set up some little things which is 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 different chests outside and 1 chest inside. Why is this like this? Because it's actually cloning this thing. Uh, let me show you what's inside all of this one. So this one is the chest with that shop item not inside and this one is with that mine and this one is with that last one which is mini games which also not created yet i this is the commands this is for the shop this is for the mine and that mini game is just empty oh of course this is the full ones so every time you get teleported it will refill automatically but this has got its own disadvantage if you click like this and then click on the other item it will get swapped and if you take one item this will not work this will work if you return the item and you just you know all of the possibilities are in this chest there are other methods such as clearing the player's inventory with that item and by the way that item is a custom made item so let me show you how to get the custom item i'm gonna create another tutorial about the custom item right after this video which is very cool so let's just let's give at p and i got the mine icon enter and that has been given to me but it just disappeared because that's one of what my commands actually do and this is the mine i got to the wrong section do this so let's review these commands so the first one the shop is testing for the blocks these two coordinates x y and z minus one one nine minus one one nine is just these blocks which is here minus one one nine and if you stand on top of the chest it will actually show the coordinates of the chest block itself but if you stand on a grass block it shows the coordinates one blocks above that grass uh, that hopefully makes sense of course this is testing these blocks with the one of these chests which is containing the mine I can remove this one so it should be if I go inside here minus one one seven which is the last three coordinate one minus oh, of course I mean the chest this chest because we are looking for the shop instead of the mine icon so when that test for blocks happened and when it's success, this is what this conditional means. It will be executing this command. Execute as all entities with types of indicator names is shop and teleport to that entity from the player itself. So if I go to the shop right here, I can just remove this gold block and I can see there this is the Vindicator with that name shop. Of course you can use any other entity such as armor stand, but that's all up to you. The next command block here, if we open it, it will clone that the final chest here, the chest with all filled things right here after you have teleported and then it will clear the shop icon item from your inventory
same goes for the mine. If we open this, it's just different coordinates with the chest without the mine icon and we teleport with the entity named mine and of course it will clone to refill everything and will clear the player's inventory from the mine icon you can add as much as you can right here if i give myself a sign you don't have to put a sign but this is just a way of me doing it you can actually put a hover node like say mini games you can see when you hover above it or like this, it will show the mini games hover node. Also, I'm using this clock setup that I got here. This is the hopper clock. It's very, very simple to make. I'm gonna remake this so you guys know exactly what's happening. All you need to do is four hoppers. I'm using four hoppers for to reduce legs you can um, let let me show you here it is a simple hopper class 2 by 2 you can create a 4 by 4 make sure you hold your sneak button and click on the hopper itself and then click on the last one like this so it creates a loop where you can put one single item inside and that will just create a loop of item goes into a comparator if you want to a faster clock you can use this two hopper setup i'm using the four hopper setup to reduce lags and this command block is not related to current video also the way i fixed that bug about when you swap these items and it will not work again you just need to click reset menu and everything will be reset again of course this item will be gone if you are using the th third commands you can add as much as menu as you want like just go from this to left or to right that's all up to you So anyway guys, thank you guys for watching, that's all I got time for today, and I'll see you guys next time. And of course before you left, here is the sneak peek of the next video's thumbnail. Of course I have said it in the beginning of the video, it's the custom item video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now and you won't miss that video. And I'll see you guys next time.